I don't know what's more intimidating. These TV cameras are all the cell phone cameras behind the TV cameras taking shots right now as we present our eighth annual John Reed Leadership Award, of course, in honor of the longtime Coldwater and Parkway, and he's at a number of different schools, but uh, passed away to esophageal cancer back in 2000. And 10, John Reed uh, just exhibited so many different great attributes of what it means to coach successfully, both on the football field but in life. Josh Spencer from USV uh, was the winner last year, and he gets to present this year. Uh, it's a pretty cool honor to, to be associated with a guy like John Reed. Tim Goodwin has won the award, Bill Sandwich, John Serby, the list goes on and on. And we'll talk about another guy who's this guy's uncle. But uh, what's that award mean to you, Josh? Uh, it means a lot to me. Um, to receive this award, award last year and um, looking at these seven traits that, you know, you, they look for the recipient in, um, it means a lot that I was the person that they chose to give this to. And a guy that, that you know pretty well, Chris Summers from Spencerville, uh, gets this honor. Why don't you present it to him? Okay, so I'm going to present the 2017 John Reed Leadership Award to Chris Summers. All right. Thank Chris. you. Thank there you, you go. Chris, uh, I love making the phone call because every time I've talked to these eight different coaches, the, the first emotion is just overwhelming and, and humility. And that's one of the traits that we see from our, our winners is a humility. Uh, what, what did that mean when you heard, you know, I'm the John Reed Leadership right. Award winner? Uh, you know, you hear that name and um, as great of a coach as he was, he was even a better person. And uh, to, to see these names, these recipients and the people have won this award like Josh and the others. Um, the only thing you can feel is that I'm not deserving of that. And, you know, you really can. And I'm just humbled, you know, really am and, and very appreciative. And I've certainly had so much help along the way and, and so much guidance along the way from other coaches. We have so many great coaches yeah, no question. who are out in the area. And, um, you know, again, just want an honor. Your uncle, Kerry Arthur, yeah. was one of the, the first, I think he was second or third year, but yeah. uh, a guy you've looked up to, I know. Absolutely. You know, Kerry was uh, definitely one that, that showed you can bring your faith on the field. Mm -hmm. And he, and, he, and he does that daily, um, and he did that. As we were coaching together, it was easy to see. And just someone that I've always wanted to emulate, you know, really. And I've always looked at him through his coaching career, and uh, he's, he's played a huge, huge role in just me wanting to be a coach and, and then wanting to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Taking a look at this season, started off tough, 0-2. What were the emotions at, at that point in the season? And then as you look back, you got a playoff win at home. And made it to the you know the second round of the playoffs against the eventual state champion. Well, I think you know there there was obviously a lot of a prayer and there was a lot of faith in there that the, that the Lord did have a plan. I really believe that, yeah. and uh, it was nice to see that come through our guys because I think they believed it too, and uh, you know just really proud of our guys, really proud of our coaching staff, and and uh, just how everybody hung in and and kept kept grinding away. And you know if you do that, good things are going to happen. But certainly a season of a lot of a lot of prayer and a lot of a lot of faith and. Uh, it turned out well for us. Family and friends are, are here in the studio watching on. Uh, certainly special to, to have them involved and in having your family at Spencerville. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, that, that's, that's the reason why you do it. And when you coach and you're a head coach, there's more that comes along with that because your family's involved in that too. And they give just as much time too. So I have my wife and my kids there with me. And we certainly did enjoy the season. And, and uh, you know, my kids especially too. Uh, the practices. I think I'd spend that first half hour playing with them, you know, and that, you know, to me, those are memories that, that mean more to me than, than anything, really. The things I'll look back on 15 years or so when they're actually playing and, and, and remember those little, you know, times and, uh, you know, it was special. We have a number of uh, WSN announcers, Tom Gieskin, the TV44 board member, uh, about six to eight on the committee that chooses this award. And, and one of the committee members, we were reading the different submissions, and, he's, and they, they said, well, Chris's mother-in-law is the one that submitted the nomination, so he's got to win it. His mother-in-law is saying what a great coach he is. Just, what's that mean to have support from both sides of the family? You know, I love my family. You know, they've been such a support to me. My mother-in-law, my father-in-law, you know, you love them. And, um, you know, I have a great wife, and it's easy to see why she's that way because she has great parents. So, um, you know, for me, my coaching, it's always been about the support of the family, and they've always supported me. And, Without that, I, I, I don't think I could do this. I, I think it's hard for anybody, too. So uh, it's definitely a team effort, man. So it's an award that, that's shared with everybody. And, you know, they deserve a lot more than I do, believe me. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, I'm just humbled. I really am very honored. It means a lot. 
We'll give them some TJ's pizza. There you go. That, that'll be their yeah. reward. You get the plaque. You can have pizza too. We have some in the kitchen. Yeah. Uh, but one, one final thing. Uh, so many coaches coach to win. X and O's, o, o, that first dimension. Uh, but what we've seen from you is that second dimension, the character, and just how much you care about developing the heart of an athlete. How rewarding is that when you see an athlete get it in life, you know, a few years down the road? Well, you know, what we've done on this football field has made a difference. Well, you know, I think you have such a platform as a coach. You do. And um, your role is to really plant that seed and let the Lord harvest it down the road. And you know, I've seen a lot of examples where that's happened. And, and uh, you, you know, you care about these guys. I love them. You love them more than just uh, football players. And I think you have to. And you, you work to establish those relationships. I've always told the players that through that. And I really believe this. They don't know what they do for me and how much they've impacted me and they help me uh, continue to grow, you know, just as a person, but also my spiritual life. You know, and, and I, I've certainly had that help by so many, so many countless players. And, um, you know, again, that, that's what makes it special. And that's why I really love the coach and I love what I'm doing. Congratulations, Chris Summers, Josh Spencer, continuing the legacy, all of our coaches. And thank you for submitting some great stories. Our eighth annual John Reed Leadership Award winner, Chris Summers from Spencerville. When we return, we have.